good morning everybody let's do a little bit of a uh, real maintenance this morning now yesterday's video uh, this is the reel I have with me I took it off the rod to make it easier now this is a Shakespeare tiger uh, Walmart special and this is the oldest one of these I have. This is uh, at least eight, nine years old. Now Walmart used to sell these as a combo uh, with rod and reel for 1995. And I bought several of them. And they have held up pretty well. Now they are not expensive. They're not pins. They're not cadence. But they work and they catch fish now i've never done anything to this one or any of the rest of them now yesterday this one the drag is really really dragging now i had a couple of big fish on here and it was dragging so now i watch a channel called second chance tackle uh dennis second chance tackle up in new jersey and from what I've seen on his videos, most of these reels are pretty straightforward, the same thing. Yeah, we're going to see if we can't fix this drag. I'm going to wind the line up here. And when I get done, I will change the line. This line, I don't, this is red Cajun line. But I have no idea how long it's been on there. It's been a long time. But for right now, to get it out of the way, we're going to put a piece of tape on it like that. Alright, we'll come back to this in a minute. Now, like I said, this has never been serviced, never been anything done to it. See, right away we got some rust in there. You know, there's a little clip right here, a little spring clip that we want to get out of there. There we go. Let's see if we can get that out. Now, I've never done this before, so. Got to be careful not to lose everything. I already see some rust in there, so. And there are washers in here, drag washers. And there it went. That's why he says cup your hand, which I didn't do, so. Let me go see if I can find that. It went over in the corner all right i found it luckily <laughs> now what i want to do is take these washers out and i gotta remember how they go back in all right there's a flat washer there's that washer i'm gonna sort of lay them out like they come out I can tell they're dirty, rusty. Okay, there's an eared washer. Another plastic. Let's see, so they go like that. And then a flat washer that looks in pretty good shape. Okay, that's all that's in there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up while we got it off. And where did my oil go? Hang on, I'm going to do it just like, uh, just like Dennis does because he is the expert. Hang on a minute. Alright, we got some uh, 
good old WD-40 we're going to use this to clean with. And some cotton swabs, Q-tips, whatever you want to call them. These are the generic type brands. Now these, I've never fished this one in the uh, in the surf or in the sand, so it's not sandy or anything like that. Just a lot of dust. Clean that out pretty good. shop towel here we'll just wipe that off good okay that should be okay now I got a piece of steel wool here clean that off a little bit this bottom was in uh, really good shape not no rust on it so we'll set it back in there like it was. <coughs> Let's see, then what was next? It was a, this one. Okay, we're gonna clean this one off a little bit. Now the WD-40 is a, from everything I see, is a good cleaner. Instead of using uh, something like carburetor cleaner or something like you might would want to use on the uh, the inside where all the grease is. Let's see, let's go ahead and clean this one up. It has just a little bit of rust on it. clean that one up let's see let's not get ahead of ourselves here now to grease these bearings I got myself a little angler pack of uh, good quality pin real grease Okay, and they make a special grease for drag washers, but uh, you can also use this. And I don't mind getting it on my fingers because I have been exposed to so many chemicals in my life that a little bit of real grease ain't going to hurt nothing. I don't think. <laughs> okay, that one's there. That one's got little ears on it, so we'll put it there. Now the next one will be this, this other plastic washer. Let's see if we can clean that up a little bit. It's got some rust on it. Just because the reel is inexpensive or you want to call it cheap or whatever, does not mean it will not catch fish. And most of us fishermen cannot spend $150-$200 on a reel. These work just fine. I catch just as, much finish, just as many fish as anybody else. Okay, we'll clean that up a little bit. Okay, that little bit of rust on there, that's just a stain. So we'll put just a little bit more grease on there. Now from everything I see, it doesn't take much. So just a little bit. Put that washer back in.
and this top one here has a good bit of rust on it just surface rust it's not a no pits in it or anything like that All right, that looks pretty good. Real smooth. Make sure it's clean as we can get it. That right there. Now this little snap ring that uh, I almost lost. It's a little rusty, so let's clean it up a little bit. <laughs> Trying to get as much use out of what we have as we can. Now, that'll go back in there. Keep my finger on it this time. Alright, looks like that seated down in there. Make sure. There we go. That's my phone going off that y'all hear. That is uh, one of my bestest buddies. We've been going back and forth all morning about who's the better fisherman. And <laughs> I say it's me, and he says it's him. So we'll just see about that. <laughs> Go ahead and wipe this off. Not at all trying to restore this thing or anything. Like I said, I'll change the line because all this grease now, this oil and stuff is on my hands, which has now got on the line, which will put a smell off in the water. Now that little clicker right there, let's take a drop of our real grease here just a drop not much <clears throat> and it makes sense to use uh, oil and grease made for fishing reels just like cooking oil you would not cook with motor oil so why grease a fishing reel would something that's not designed for I think I think that seeded back in there I'm not sure yeah I think it is now I'm not going to take this apart and do a, a full service on it because it runs really smooth this way it does have a squeak which is I think here in the handle put a drop of glue and uh, drop of oil in there that'll take care of the squeak all right runs really smooth so I don't think we need to fool with that too much not the inside anyway 
just wipe it off good. To be as old as this thing is, it's in really good shape. That looks alright. Now let's see if we can put it back in there. <coughs> Pardon me. Well, we've got the tensioner off. We'll go ahead and clean that up. That looks good. <coughs> Pardon me. There we go. Before it was scrubbing real bad, making a lot of noise. There we go. That's that. <coughs> now, while we're doing, let's go ahead and put just a little bit of on the bell spring. A little bit on the bell spring there. Because <coughs> that was working pretty good. clean that up wipe the dust off of it <coughs> pardon me y'all know me and my cough but uh there we go All right, that is ready to go back fishing. I'm gonna put it back on the rod and we'll use that one next time. Close up our oil and grease and put that aside. There you go. Very quick, very simple fix. Now, would I love to have a full line of the expensive stuff? Sure. But, uh, why? When you have something that, uh, inexpensive and works just fine. There we go. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see y'all next time with something else.